and welcome. We are thrilled to be here today as we unveil the next evolution in digital advertising. We are going to introduce you to a new platform that will transform how marketers connect with their audiences. The advertising industry is at a turning point. Signal loss is making it harder for marketers to target and measure effectively. Cookies are disappearing and consumer privacy is a growing priority. Anuvo understands that these realities demand a better solution. Our mission, to make targeting smarter, privacy safe, and more effective. That is why we created IntentKey AI. Built specifically for advertising, our proprietary patented AI uses large language modeling to read the open web and build dynamic audience models that deliver actionable insights. IntentKey doesn't rely on who-based identifiers like cookies. Instead, it uncovers the why behind audience interests using AI-powered concepts, giving marketers a deeper understanding of their consumers. IntentKey is a first-of-its-kind AI delivering real-time audience models that evolve every five minutes to stay ahead of shifting consumer behaviors. And today, we are making that power accessible like never before. Introducing the Intent Key platform by Anuvo. This interface puts the power of Intent Key AI directly in your hands. Through a simple text prompt, you can build audience models instantly with in-platform activation, your models appear in your DSP with a click of a button. And our advanced audience insights can guide product development, messaging strategies, and even creative. And we can't wait to show you how it works. So let's dive in. I'm going to demo our real-time audience builder. So building a model is relatively very straightforward. Let's say I'm an uh, e-bike manufacturer or e-bike seller. I can just go to my page, I can get the URL for the product I'm interested in building a model around and trying to understand the users around that. The site will immediately go and crawl that page, pull out all the relevant information for it, and, and then I can add as many more as I want to. So let's just say I also want to throw in the main page as well too. And then all I do is just hit a button. And then the system will then generate my model for me so I can actually now see you know, what are the main concepts that are top of mind for e-bike consumers out there, right? I can see, you know, gears, safety, national parks, camping, those things are like really top of mind. So I can scroll down, I, I have an instant snapshot of what the demographics would look like for, for my audience, right? I can, for this one, I can see it, you know, it, it uh, over indexes on males, right? You know, people who have kids, they tend to be a little bit older. Um, you know, they tend to have a little bit more disposable income, so forth, and I can actually see where in the U.S., you know, uh, my model matched against. I can even then flip this and actually get a zip code view of it as well, too. So if I want to see, you know, is it more rural, is it more urban, uh, this view would give me that, you know, understanding of that model. I can then, if I wanted to, focus the model on a specific demographic type that I really cared about. So let's say for my product, I actually want to go toward a younger demographic, a younger skew. I can very easily just select the younger demographic and then I can refresh my model. And then once again, instantaneously, the model will refocus itself around all those concepts around a younger uh, demographic. Uh, so then I can then see, you know, what is more intriguing to a potentially younger demographic for e-bikes for my, you know, marketing. And here I can see a lot more uh, parking and, and the entertainment kind of concepts kind of bubble up. I get a new sense of the audience size and demographics and so forth and so on. If I wanted to see how my model was being generated, I can actually go into the seed section. I can see the specific URLs that I gave it and then I can actually see the specific, you know, top of mind concepts it found on those URLs that it used to construct the model. Uh, and then if I wanted to, I can very easily uh, remove any or add any in, uh, back into it. So for example, if I don't want this one, I can delete this one and I can put in any other kind of concept back into it as well. So I can get an understanding of the model. I can kind of really gear it toward what I wanted to do. 
And then when I want to, I can actually then activate my model very easily. I can put in my DSP, Google, seed ID one, two, three, and then select the channels I want to advertise against, and then I can submit that. If I don't want to put in a URL and this, I want to put in a prompt, I can put in any prompt in I want. For me personally, I am interested in uh, vintage toys from the 80s. I just put in vintage 80s toys and then I hit generate and it will actually generate a, a model for me. It bubbled up all the, the concepts, um, you know, Masters of the Universe, Star Wars, Transformers, you know, all the good stuff. For this model, I'll focus it on males. So what I'm more interested in, and maybe an audience that I would want to reach. And I can refresh that. It still doesn't have, you know, other things like G.I. Joe, which, you know, 80s, you know, you probably want to have G.I. Joe too. So I can go and just add the G.I. Joe concept into it. So I can really fine tune it. Here now I can see, you know, it, it brought in that concept as well. It brought in a lot of other concepts. Naturally, you know, talking about 80s vintage, it, you know, the model instantly kind of figured out that I'm a collector, you know, that I probably also like video games and that I like comic books. Then it built out um, you know, the, the size of the audience for me, and then it, it built out the demographic information, and then it actually showed me where, you know, like-minded people would be. Now I have a, a custom-made model for specifically something as, as unique as 80s vintage toy audience that I can deploy marketing and advertising against. I don't need to buy any third-party data. I can just literally send this deal ID to you know, my DSP of choice, and then I can immediately start activating media against it. It shows the power of our being able to really craft a, a model specific to anything, and then being able to activate and, and find that audience anywhere they might be. As you can see, the Intent Key platform isn't just a tool. It's an end-to-end -end AI solution that simplifies audience modeling, adapts to trends in real time, uncovers rich insights, and delivers real results. With features like instant audience model creation, dynamic updates every five minutes, and in-platform activation, the IntentKey platform redefines what's possible in programmatic advertising. Whether you're a hands-on marketer or prefer expert support from our Nuvo team, the IntentKey platform gives you the precision, the transparency, the insights, and the performance that you need to succeed. Ready to take the next step? Visit anuvo.com to learn more, explore the platform, and start building and activating smarter audiences today. Unlock a new era of intent key by Anuvo.